Eleni Kunalakis, California's Lieutenant Governor, joins us now. Thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here, Lindsay. So California is moving toward a phase reopening. We just heard from RNC Chair Ronna McDaniel. The RNC is suing the state of California after its decision to send ballots to all voters. McDaniel has called Governor Newsom's move an illegal power grab. What states are be what steps are being taken to ensure that all voters can vote safely and securely? So I find it to be very, very sad that they've made this move and will fight their lawsuit. There's no merit to it. The fact is that 75% of Californians already vote by mail, 75%. So what the governor's action does is make sure that every registered voter gets a ballot, whether they request one or not. We have great protocols in place. We've been doing this for a long time to make sure uh, that uh, our elections continue to be fair. All of us, I think, in this state, all of us in government, uh, consider this to be very important because you don't want people not to be able to vote because of this health crisis and because they are worried about leaving their home. So Ronald McDaniel has used L.A. County as an example, and she claims that there are more registered voters than residents, where ballots are were ballots mailed to every registered voter in the voter rolls regardless of when they last voted? And are you also worried that ballots will get sent places that they shouldn't be? So I think that it's pretty clear by the Republican leaders' actions, not just in California, but around the country, they really don't want people to be voting. That's what this is about. And most of the language that they're using is really just intended to scare people and foment disagreement about something that we should all agree on. We need to expand voter vote by mail across the country in order to ensure that Americans have the ability to vote. So just so we can be crystal clear, can you walk us through step by step what happens to, to mail in ballot once it's received before that ballot is counted? First, first of all, you have to be registered to vote. Secondly, once you fill out your ballot, there are several ways to get that ballot turned in. It could be picked up or it can be mailed in. But thirdly, uh, if someone uh, does that in any of case, you have to sign your ballot. And the registrars have gotten very good at comparing a person's signature to the signature that they have on file. Curious to know, have you had any instances, any credible evidence of vote by mail fraud in California? Uh, the governor talked about four cases uh, and that in those cases, they are vigorously examined to understand, to make sure that uh, these cases are not happening. So we take that very seriously as well. And switching gears here for a moment, this Memorial Day, of course, we saw images of crowds across the country, including in California. Are you concerned that large groups congregating could start a second wave? So I think everyone is concerned that as we ease the stay at home orders and get people back to work, uh, that that if people are not taking the precautions seriously, then yes, there could be a surge. So we are very focused on helping to uh, have the best possible communication with Californians that they know that the virus is still out there. It is just as deadly as it has always been. And as as we get back into circumstances where we are around other people, we have to double down on those protections of wearing masks where appropriate, of staying at least six feet away from other people, washing our hands frequently, and of course making sure that at-risk people um, are continuing to take even greater precautions like staying at home uh, unless it's absolutely necessary to go out. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you. You too. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.